Hey everyone, it's Amber John. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you guys, is a box I have not done before. So, this is how big it came. So, it's a very small box. And this is a five piece name brand handbag box. So, it's supposed to be four bags and then one accessory. It could be, you hear the plane going over. It could be a wallet, a wristlet, I mean, just an accessory. But they're supposed to be name brand. You guys, let's hope this is a very good box. I don't sell a lot of purses. It's just not something I like selling, but I like having a variety of items for sale in my store, closet, etc. So I paid $100 plus tax, so $107.25. I will break down what that is for five items, what I paid. So, oh, and it came from the Pennsylvania warehouse. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Also, y'all hear this? So there's a chain or something in here. Okay, here we go. Put the little thing. Let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the top. Obviously that one is Dooney and Burke. I am gonna start with it. Woo! Okay, so we have a Dooney and Burke bag. Very nice. It's actually in really, really good condition. I am going to get all these items authenticated just to make sure because we're not selling counterfeits over here. So this is Dooney and Burke. It is in very, very good shape. I don't know anything about the style or anything. It's a very lightweight bag it's too small for my personal preference but i know someone out here would like it and it has a magnetic closure okay and then that is what it looks like on the inside there's no pockets or anything on the inside it's just a very basic dooney and burke bag okay the next one i'm assuming this is tory birch very nice so I'm assuming this is the accessory because it is a wallet. So it is a nice Tory Burch full zipper round wallet. Opens up like that. Has a little money pouch on the inside. And then some card slots, some slots for your cash. Very nice and it's very clean too. I'm really surprised with this. So I was hesitant because I got the regular handbag bag it was okay. I'm still sitting on probably half of the box still. Um, a couple of the items sold very, very quickly. And then there was one that needs cleaned. And I, you guys, I still haven't gotten around to it. It's in my death pile. I just need to get to it. But very nice. I keep getting off track in this. Ah, oh, here's the one I've been hearing in the box. So let's see what this is. So this one is Rebecca Minkoff. I think I'm saying that right name. Sometimes y'all, I botch the name so bad. But this is, I want to say, a crossbody bag. Mm-hmm, very nice. So it's silver, I'm wanting to say. I don't think it's gold. I think it's blue. I can't really tell. It might be black. I can't tell really in this lighting. It's not the best. Zips on the top and then it also has a little buckle here and then it zips here as well so again I do not know the style or anything I will just have to look it up it does have a little bit of a fringe I'm not sure if it just hangs like that here's another one but it is I mean it's worn of course oh it has this on the bottom couldn't forget that but it is worn but it's still in very good shape so so far Y'all, I'm impressed with this. Two more pieces left though. All right, the next one's a larger bag, ready? Ooh, oh, and this is marked by Marc Jacobs. Very nice, it does have some wear, but it's not too bad, especially, you know, you can always tell on the handles. The handles are really nice. The leather feels very, very nice as well. So it's a full zip bag. That is the interior, very, very busy logo interior. It has two slots on this side, and then it has a back. Um, it's not zippered. I thought maybe it was magnetic. 
Uh, it just kind of opens in the back, but it is very, very large and enough room for everything that you would need, I would say. Okay, this is how I would carry it. I don't really carry purses, so maybe that's why I don't like selling them, but very nice. So let's get to the last one, guys. Ah, Michael Kors. I used to have this bag back in the day in like so many different colors, prints, sizes. I'm not sure if they're still selling well. Um, I've sold all of mine, but this one is in good shape. That is something I will give props. This, I was kind of scared because the other handbag box, a lot of them had defects or they needed cleaning and stuff like that. I was expecting the same with this, but really you guys, all of the items, the pieces are in really good shape. I love this color because it's a neutral color. It's very nice. It zips on the top and then has the little pockets on the side. Y'all, this was such a good box. Oh, let me model it. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's a very, very good box. All of the pieces were in good shape. So I'm gonna get all the pieces again. Okay, so here is my display of all of the pieces. I really thought this was a great box. If you've gotten this box before, let me know down in the comments how it did for you and what your experience with it was. I would, I love hearing that. But I really like this box because it's a variety of sizes and brands. So it's not multiple like the duplicates of the brands. We got the accessory is exactly what they said it was gonna be. Four bags and an accessory. They're all in really, really good condition as well. Different colors. I mean, how cute is this? I really do think that I will profit well on this box. We'll have to see. I'm just not sure how some of them are selling. Um, but the brands though, they're all really, really good brands. So like I said, if you guys have gotten this box, let me know down below. I did pay $100 plus tax. So I will maybe do an update on Instagram uh, to let you know what my profit is after all the pieces have sold. Fingers crossed, you guys, that they do sell well. But that is the box. I'm obsessed with it. Let me know down below what you thought of this box. If you've gotten it before, if you liked this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to see more unboxing videos like this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next Sunday.